do you know about the secret trick that can bypass digital restrictions and let you access files that seems impossible to download? It's called Poison Null Byte. Let's explore how this amazing trick works in this video. I have an application running that is purposefully left vulnerable. Let's understand the concept by solving one of its challenge. And the challenge is bypass a security control with a poison null byte, access a file not meant for your eyes. That comes under the category of poison null byte. If I come over to the main page and look, I can find the about page. If I access the about page, Right over here, I can see a link for Terms of Service. If I try to access that, hmm, interesting. We are here at ftp legal.md file. Now let's remove the legal.md and see what happens. Interesting. We have all of the content of slash ftp folder. Now let's look at all of the files one by one and see which one we can access. So if I click on the acquisition.md, I can access that. If I click on easter.ewg, I cannot access. If I click on this YML, I cannot access. If I click on legal.md, I can access. And announcement underscore encrypted is also accessible. So by checking all of these files, I understand that I can only view .md files because OAS Shop added some sort of restrictions not allowing other files to be viewed or downloaded. Now, in order to bypass this, we can use Poison Null Byte, which is a trick used to trick the server to show that we are using change extension instead of the original one. So if I click on this Easter egg and come over here to the URL and inside this URL, type in %25,000.md and press enter, you can see I'm greeted with the download page. So I'll create a new folder and I'll save the file inside this. And if I try to open it in Visual Studio Code, you can see we have the contents of the file. Now, if you are here for the challenge, that is it for you. You are free to go because the challenge is already been resolved. But if you want to dig deeper, then you need to stay because I want to explain a little bit more. So the computer stores text and file names using special codes. These aren't quite the same as the normal letters and numbers you read. One of the most common code that has a secret signal to mark the end of the file names, that special signal is called a null byte. And in our case, what happened was we poisoned that null byte by tricking the server. Now what the 2500 or 25,000 does is it overrides or confuses the server by making the end character ambiguous hence making the server forget the original extension and giving it over our new extension, which in our case was to convert the .gg into .md, on which we didn't have the restrictions, and we tricked the server on downloading the easter.act file. Now, in the last, I just want to give you a warning, which is, it is important to understand that the poison null byte trick should not be used in any real-world scenario that involves bypassing the security measures or accessing unauthorized information. It is a potential security vulnerability, and exploiting it can be illegal and how. So that is it for the video. I hope you did learn all about the poison null byte. It was just a quick one. But still, I hope you did understand. Have a pleasant day. Bye for now. And I will see you in the next one.